what's up guys tanmay here for simple snippets and i'm back with another video for c++ programming and fundamentals in this video tutorial we'll be writing a program to determine which is the largest of three different numbers so let's see the programming question so quickly open up your c++ id whichever you prefer i do all my programming work in dev c++ so as you can see on the screen i've created the basic template or structure of the c++ program on the top here you can see the question so the question is write a program to check the largest number among three different numbers so what we'll do is we'll take three different numbers from the user and we'll determine which one is the largest so here i've printed out the largest of three numbers that is the program name then i've declared three variables int x y z so now let me just take in values from user so i'll type enter three numbers and then i'll take the input from user c in x again an exception operator y and again an exception operator z so i'll take the three inputs in this one single line now up until now if you have followed this tutorial series we've seen the basic if else structure so here we'll be seeing a nested if else structure by nested i mean there is a if condition inside an if condition so let me just show you what exactly i mean so in order to determine which is the largest number out of three different numbers we'll have to first check for two numbers so i'll say if x greater than y i'll open the curly braces of the if structure and inside that i'll again type if and i'll type your x greater than z so what essentially is happening here is if x is greater than y it will enter this outer if structure and again it will check if x is greater than z so if x is greater than z this means that x is greater than y as well as x is greater than z which essentially means that x is the greatest number now there could be another possibility that x is greater than y but x is not greater than z in that case it will go inside this else structure of the inner if else structure so if x is not greater than z this will essentially mean that x is greater than y but x is smaller than z that means that z is the greatest number why because x is greater than y and x is smaller than z so we have seen a nested structure over here now imagine that this first statement itself is wrong or false by that i mean x is not greater than y so i'll have to check the condition for y is greater than x as well so i'll type in else if y greater than x now this essentially means y is greater then x now there could be a possibility that y is greater than x as well as y is greater than z so i'll have to check that as well so i'll type in again an if structure y greater than z i'll open the curly braces and this will mean that y is greatest because y would be greater than x and y would be greater than z now if y is not greater than z this would mean this would mean z is the greatest number because if the program comes into this else part it would essentially mean that this part is true so y would be greater than x is true and this part is false so y greater than z is not true that means z is greater than y 
so z is greater than y so as you can see z would be the greatest number in this case this is a slightly confusing conditions and structuring is bit complicated but i think it's pretty easy when we actually type in the comments and actually dry run it by dry run it i mean that you actually write in on a piece of paper the different conditions that are happening so i've made the basic if else structure and the nested structure i just need to type in the actual see out results so i just need to print out the results now notice that i did not have to write an else part because it is not compulsory and we've actually checked all the conditions within these nested if else structures okay so i am compiling and running it at the same time so as you can see it printed the program title and it is asking me to enter three numbers so what i'll do is i'll enter 3 i'll enter 4 and 5 so 3 corresponds to x 4 corresponds to y and 5 corresponds to z so as i press enter now it will give me the output 5 is the greatest number so what happened here is since z value was 5 x value was 3 and y value is 4 so it first check is x greater than y now we know x is 3 and y is 4 so this statement is false so this entire if statement is not executed now it will check else if condition which is y greater than x and it is true because y is 4 and x is 3 so the control went inside this structure now again it checked if y is greater than z now here we know y is 4 and z is 5 so 4 is not greater than 5 so this part was not executed instead it went inside this else structure and it printed z is the greatest number because we already know that x is the smallest over here then it is y and then it is z now there is another way to actually work out this conditions and it is by actually using compound expressions instead of this nested if else structure now by that i mean that we can use the relational and logical operators to compare conditions so let me just show you what i'm saying actually i'll cut these parts so what i do over here is in the first if condition I type in x greater than y so I check this condition and I type in the logical operator and and I check for another condition that is x greater than z so at the same time I am checking two different conditions that is x greater than y and x greater than z so instead of writing a nested if else to check two different conditions I combine them inside one single condition so what happens is the result of this condition is logically ended with the result of this condition so if this condition is true and this condition is true only then will this if structure be executed that is even if any of the one expression is false this if structure will not be executed so since I check for x greater than y and x greater than z and if both are true that means x is greatest similarly if y greater than x and y greater than z this means y is the greatest number and in the last else part if both if and else if conditions are not true that is if x is not greatest and y is not greatest this eventually means that z is the greatest 
So as you can see, this structure seems pretty easy than the nested if else structure as we have combined two different expressions inside one single condition. So again, I just need to type in x is the greatest number. Similarly, here I have to print the output as y is the greatest number and here I have to print z is the greatest number. So let me just quickly save this and execute this. So again I enter 4, 5 and 6. So 4 corresponds to x, 5 to y and 6 to z. So as you can see 6 is the greatest number. So in this case it first check these conditions since both these conditions are false it neglected this condition or this entire part then it checked for y greater than x which was again false so even if one single condition or one single expression is false the whole entire condition gets false or because it is a logical AND operation and then we got into the else part so it printed z is the greatest number so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood how to find out the largest number out of three different numbers and we just saw two different methods which we can follow to do that if you have any queries or comments you can always put them in the comment section below and make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you get notified when we upload the next video peace